There's two types of clamps that can be used to measure current with the Redfish meter. And in the first video, we showed you the milliamp, the amp clamp. And on this video, we're going to show you how to use the millivolt to amp clamp. So this is produced by Redfish meter, and it's got actually a, uh, a high resolution and low resolution output. Typically, you're going to use it with a 10 uh, millivolts to amp output on the meter, so you'll set the switch to the up position. These now plug into the common and voltage output because this is going to output a AC millivolt and then we're going to convert it to amps in the application. So right now you can see that if we turn the backlight on here, we're set to um, millivolts AC, millivolt AC, and then we'll go ahead and connect it um, via Bluetooth to the meter. So I'm going to go ahead here and connect to multimeter. All right, so now we're connected. So now you can see that it's reading AC voltage and we have voltage shown in the voltage field. And because it's detecting we're set up as voltage, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna use millivolts as amps? So we select that button there. What it does is it now is reading current instead of voltage in that output. It's still a voltage output, an AC voltage output, but it's a millivolt output that we're using to display current. And you can see right here, we have it set so that it matches the selector switch and the current clamp. If I go ahead and connect this onto my blower motor lead here, you'll see that uh, the meter's displaying 1.02 amps, uh, and the amperage is automatically recorded, and again, it's waiting for zero. So it works just like the milliamp clamp, except it's millivolt, and you connect it a little di bit differently. Now, I really like this clamp a lot because it connects to the voltage terminal, so you don't have to switch your meter. You just set it up for AC volts, and you measure AC volts with a voltage, you measure AC volts on the millivoltage, and you're all good to go. And the other nice thing here is that because this is always a voltage output, there's no chance of blowing the fuse if you make a mistake by putting the leads in the wrong position. In fact, you could clamp these two off and not even use them if you're using it just for volts and amps. So it's a very easy to use feature, but you gotta make sure that when you're looking at your clamp, you're looking at the right type. Um, all these clamps are being labeled, so if we take a close look here at this uh, AMC clamp, you can see here this is showing you one milliamp per amp output. On this flute clamp, you have to look a little bit harder, but it's actually inside the clamp on the yellow here. It shows you the one uh, milliamp per amp output. And then again on the redfish meter here, this is a voltage output, so it's one millivolt per amp output. And as long as you keep all that straight, you're good to go and you'll get the correct readings out of your meter every single time.